Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through a walkthrough of installing Let's Encrypt. And I want to start out by saying this is very easy to do. And the reason I decided to do this video was just to demonstrate that fact. I really recommend you just going over to letsencrypt.org and, and working through it yourself um, because you, you really don't need this video. That being said, uh, I wanted to do this video for people like me who, like maybe I'm sitting waiting somewhere and I really can't do this on my project uh, or on my website, but I do want to see how it works. So that's who this is for. So it's not really a tutorial. Um, this is just, you know, to give you a view of how it actually works and not just, you know, how great it is. So the, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this with shell access because um, if you don't have shell access, uh, you're, you're gonna have to follow your vendors approach so we went right ahead on over to certbot which is you know the the primary client for let's encrypt and we're gonna be picking the software and this is basically you know uh, what you're using let's encrypt with and you can see you can use it with a bunch of things not just um, not just a web server so I'm gonna be I'm using Apache and I'm on I'm up to 1604 or the equivalent through upgrade and we're just going to walk through each of these steps. So the first step is to update your app's repository or your or your software's re repository. So this that'll be different on you know whatever system you might be on. You might have to use um, Yum or whatever if you're on other systems. So at this point, I'm just going to be typing in my password, and you know you'll see we'll just go through this. Now I've done this recently, so there was nothing to update. And the next thing we'll be doing is installing uh, software properties common. I have no idea what that is, um, but when I did it, now this is the second time I did it today, so I got the same result. So I was already up to date on that. So if you do regular updates, it's probably not going to install anything. Um, and then the next thing is we're going to be adding a repository for the CertBot. So this is a uh, personal package archive, and uh, so we'll be adding that to our sources list in apt-get. Now you could also do all of this in uh, Synaptic or um, or apt, what's that one? I forget, apt something, aptitude, that's it. So we're going to be running, so that adds the archive and it, it does it securely with a key ring. And then we're going to have to run update again. Now again, I've already run this once today, so this is sort of my second time through. Just, just to try to make the video a little bit better. Uh, I try to do it once and then do it again for the video. So that does change the video contents a little bit. So there may be some little inaccuracies. I apologize for that. So, and the final thing we're gonna do is install install the um, actual CertBot client. And you'll see that it's a Python client. I highly recommend learning Python. It's used in a lot of, a lot of uh, open source and other projects. And I highly recommend learning how to highlight something to copy and paste it. <laughs> so that's that. So you see I had already installed that. But that's about the same. You know, you won't get much more text to it if you install it. So that's um, that's a walkthrough of that. Very simple. Uh, you probably won't get any errors. Um, if you do, that's going to be the outside of the scope of this because we're just really doing a walkthrough. So now let's run the client. So what we're doing here is, is we're as root, we're running... Uh, the CertBot program, and we're passing it the Apache um, argument. So what it's going to do is, uh, so I've done this the second time, so it's going to go to your Apache conf and it's find the websites that are installed on your Apache server. And I have two, my Rangefinder kit, which is a, uh, I'm hoping to be an educational product that I sort of sell at open source at the same time. Um, and then Sussex Makerspace. So I'm going to be doing it for Sussex Makerspace today. So basically, you just you just hit uh, hit enter, or you can do all of them, and so you'll see that um, I'm reinstalling this because I install it once. But so you're gonna your option is gonna be uh, attempt uh, install. So I'm gonna hit one, and it's gonna ask you the questions uh, whether you want to do node redirect or redirect. And basically, it's um, redirect means you're gonna do HTTPS only, and it's gonna do the config for you. I recommend doing number two. Don't don't run your site on HTTP. There's just too many things to go uh, to get stolen from you. Even in, even in simple sites, you just don't remember what you're you don't realize what you're exposing. So we're gonna hit two and hit enter. 
So now you already you see that because I'm running this a second time, it's let me know that I've already done that. But but basically, you're going to get the same message uh, without the red little thing there. And the other thing different that you're not going to that you're going to see that um, I'm not showing you here is that when you first run Let's Encrypt, it's going to ask you for an email. That email is important because they send you um, renew notices in that. And uh, so make sure you use an email that you check and that you're going to receive. So it gives you some advice on what on backing some ups on what you need to back up and where and then um, maybe to donate. So what we're going to do is go to the test site next. So they, there's a really great test site for this. I'm going to copy the link address and let's go over there. So I'm just going to paste in the link address here and go to that website. Now I've already run this once. Oh, it, it remembered my <laughs> it remembered my run. So basically, when you get in, let's do let's do clear this. So you see, I had passed with an A, and it, it rem and I guess SSL cert remembers your run. So basically, when you first go, it's going to run a full test and to see if it's uh, it's up to their basic standards of 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 security. And when you're done, it's going to give you that A that you saw earlier. And then when you go to your website, you should be able to see a lock icon when you go into it. And I guess I shouldn't give away my, well, I think that's on here anyway. So anyway, have a great day, and I hope this uh, helped you, and I hope this convinced you to try to run uh, Let's Encrypt. So uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and make sure you hit the alert button so you get notified when uh, I put up new videos.